Hello everyone, welcome back. We are looking at how to animate this uh, Fox Jump in After Effects using Twig Bezel plugin. So now that the setup of the character is ready, we will uh, start working on animating the character. All right, so let's get into it. Here's the file where uh, you have your setup done. So all the handles are ready. What I do is if I would show you the folder I have saved the file in stages so the first stage is where the character is set up then the bone setup is done then the controls are created and then you move on to animation this way if there's any problem if the file goes corrupt or if you lose your work you have at least some part of it saved and then you can start from there okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this as jump four because I've saved jump four animation. So I'll call this jump four and I named it animation so that I know when I start animating. So the first three files are for the rigging. All right. So first thing is uh, what I noticed is I don't have enough space for the character to jump in. Generally, when you're using Duik Bezel plugin, and if you change the composition, uh, the things get a little weird. So if you go to composition settings, we need to increase the height. But if you increase the height, things may go wrong, which you can try and see what happens if you do that. Okay, you can see that things really got messed up. So you undo it, and then you go to composition, composition settings, you go to advanced, and then click on this option here and sometimes you don't get that issue so i'll make it 1280 by 1280 and you can see that the character did not get messed up this time all right so i have more space for the character to jump in so now we will create our first keyframe which is on the ground so let us select all the feet and control select the body so these are the options we need to work with to move the character up and down so i'll move him down okay i'll also move him to the right a little bit all right so this is where i want the character to start working so i'll create a keyframe for the position and what i will before creating the keyframe i'll also go to separate dimension Okay, so we only want to animate the Y position of these. Okay, and now that we have set up the key, I'll select all of these and then just click on U. So this will only show me the keyframes for the selected options. Okay, so what i will do is i will import the reference file that i had shown you in the beginning uh, it's always a good idea to use a reference so you don't know how things work how the body moves so uh, find a reference and work with the reference and then you can be creative with uh, the poses while using the reference so you don't have to exactly copy but get a reference to understand the basic motion of the character so I'll go to file import and I have this reference file. I'm going to use a Fox file, import it in my composition and drag him, drag the composition here. Okay, so I can see what is happening. Now the Fox is facing the other direction. So I'll go to scale link unlink this and back arrow key and minus 100 so now the fox is facing now i have too many frames here so i'll go to composition composition settings i'll kill that one minute out of the timeline all right save this one okay i like to save my files all the time now let us see when the fox so this full is too much so I'll make it half 
Okay, so at around 15, the fox is all the way up in the air, and then the fox comes down. And because we want to loop it, we'll make it 30 frames long, the entire animation, okay? So we'll go to frame number 30, which is 106. And again, add keyframes for all the four legs. And uh, body, okay? And then we need a keyframe at 15 as well. So let us do that. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll select this four, control select the body, and now we will position the topmost. So this fox is going to jump. Let us exaggerate it. So the fox is going to jump very high up. All right, and then that's our animation here. So we'll preview this. So you can see that the fox is going up and down. So I'll select these ones, right click, easy ease, and this one also, easy ease. So if you go here, okay, you can see that the character is not select one like to do the easy ease yep so I'll select all the middle ones and I'll close this right click keyframe assistant is ease all right so let us look at this we'll make all of these easy ease so it will go up we need value graph so okay, so when we make this easy ease you can see that fast and then goes up in air so that's the effect we want to create Okay, like the ball bounce. Okay, so the next thing we will do is we'll work on the tail. Okay, so we'll select the tail and again we'll create a keyframe for go to effects and we'll animate this property which is the rotation of the tail then tail 2 and tail 3. Okay, hit the U key. So you get these three angles. Okay, go to frame number 15. And we will add keys. Go to frame number 30, which is 106. And add a key again. Okay. Uh, before we do that, last step, let us create the tail pose. Okay, so the tail is going down as the character jumps up. Okay, so here the tail has gone down. So what we will do is we will start with the tail up. Okay, something like this.
okay so we'll start from there and then we will copy this and paste it at 106 okay and then when you when the fox is in air the tail is going to be coming down okay and then we will add easy ease again okay so now we got the tail animation done okay now let us look at how the tail behaves so you can see that the tail goes up and we are going to create a pose when the character just reaches the ground okay so we will make the tail pose when the character just reaches the ground all right and then with because of the impact it further goes down okay now if you play this okay let us render okay that is too fast the the way the tail comes back it doesn't look nice so what we are going to do is we are going to be taking the creative liberty and drag this down more okay to give it a little bit more time to come back okay so this looks little better okay and then this one I don't like too much this angle all the three are selected I'll deselect and then only select the last one okay and it comes back so what we will do is uh, next class we will create uh, some more in between poses to finish the animation part all right thanks